Say after two away defeats, how important is it for you to see a, a reaction from your team this weekend? Not in the FA Cup. No. In the FA Cup last match we went really serious. Difficult stadium, opponent leaving a, a dream to play against Manchester United and trying to be a giant killer and we did it very, very uh, serious. So obviously Huddersfield is a much better team than Yeovil. Obviously, they have different ambitions. I think uh, Yeovil wanted to be a giant killer. Huddersfield really wants to progress and to try to make something um, beautiful in in the cup. So we have to be we have to be ready. And uh, we played Huddersfield very recently, a couple of weeks ago. We know who they are, how they are, how they. They try to play. We lost this this season a few months ago in their stadium, so I don't think we can we can be caught by surprise. Jose, can I ask about Paul Pogba because there's been again a lot of speculation this week. I just wonder how happy do you feel? I think you are nice with 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 your words because uh, when you say a lot of speculation, you should say a lot of lies uh, because. Um, I accept and I can speak on Paul's behalf without any kind of problem. Paul accepts that he's not been playing well in the last few matches, but that's all. And if you want to speak about it, then that's one thing. And then your word speculation maybe makes a little bit of, of sense. But the majority of the things that, uh, that you can read and you can listen don't be nice, be objective and say lies. Well, actually, I, I don't know what goes on in and around the dressing room, so what have your conversations been like with Paul and is there still any kind of convincing still need to be done to on his role? I don't speak with you about my conversations with my players. I don't, I don't have to tell you anything about it. It's, it's my problem, is the player's problem. A big lie that our relation is not good a big lie that we don't uh, communicate, a big lie that we don't agree with, um, with these positions and, uh, and um, his involvement in, uh, in the dynamics of, uh, of the team. So be objective, be objective and say what we all know. In the last couple of matches, he didn't play well, period, end of story. Now is my problem and Paul's problem to deal with it and to try uh, to improve his, um, his performance level. So you, to, to, to go around it, you don't need to be a liar. Jose, how confident are you then that you can get the best out of Paul and which position that might be? You can you know, the get position, the, the position is, you know, is, is, is quite ridiculous to speak about it because um, I think we have... Uh, I don't want to be... I don't want to be... What's the opposition of nice? Nasty. Nasty. Yeah, I don't want to be nasty with other countries' uh, pundit industry, because obviously there are very good pundits uh, in other countries. But I think we have here, at least in number, the biggest pundit industry, because there are hundreds of them, and the majority of them with great background in in football, in great knowledge of football. And uh, I would like somebody to tell me in which position you think Pogba played against Newcastle. I would like people to, 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 to tell me in which position you think Pogba played against Newcastle. Any one of you want to tell me? You can you tell us? No, no, can you tell me? Midfield. And, sorry? Midfield. OK, midfield, but we played with one number six and two number eights, or two eights and one ten? Or two six and one ten? We played with one six and two eights. We played with Matic as a six, Lingard on the right side of Matic, and Pogba on the left side of Pogba. Do you know which is the Pogba preferred system? 4-3-3. Do you know 
which is Pogba's favorite position in the 4 3 3. Eight on the left. So it's easy and honest and objective to say Paul didn't play well against Newcastle. But some of the guys, they are paid millions. Don't let people read things that are not true. You are paid to read the game and to explain people the game. Don't say... Was there anything behind this? You said yourself it's, this is players haven't been as high as they were, say, at the start of the season. Has there been anything behind it, an injury, an illness? Or... Look, you had a big injury. You had a big injury in the season. Big injury. He had a big injury. He almost went to, to surgery like Dembele in Barcelona went with a very similar, with a very similar uh, uh, injury. The decision was not to do it and go to a conservatory treatment, which results very, very well. Everybody really happy with the, with the way things uh, went. He was playing phenomenal before that. He, he played phenomenal after that. He had a red card against Arsenal, uh, probably in his best match uh, of the season and in his best moment and probably the team best moment. He was out for a long, long time and in this moment he's not playing well. Period. Period. He's not playing well. Period. And the team um, needs him at a good level and when he's not at a good level, the team is not as good as a team is when he plays phenomenal. I think it happens with every team when the best players, the most crucial players, for some reason are not, are not performing. Period. You don't need to come with histories, you don't need to come with we are going to sell him, we want to sell him, he wants to leave, we fight every day, we don't see each other. You don't need that. You don't need that. And some people goes in that, uh, in that direction, some of them, I know them, for many, many years, I know the profile, I know that uh, their surname is Liar. You know, there are people in, 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 your, in your world that the surname is Liar. You know? Uh, okay. And that's not nice. But it's enough of Paul.